Warning, reading this devotion may alter your life. You will either be better or bitter, your choice. Welcome back to Wilderness Wanderings in the Word. I'm Pastor Phil and it's September 13th and we're reading the prophet Joel, verses one through three. I mean, not verses, chapters. It's the whole book. You get to read the whole book today. We've entitled this devotion, Come Spend the Night with Your King. The focus scripture is Joel chapter one, verse 13. Put on sackcloth, O priests, and mourn. Wail, you who minister before the altar. Come spend the night in sackcloth, you who minister before my God. For the grain offerings and the drink offerings are withheld from the house of your God. It was a time of grave circumstances in Israel. The Assyrian nation was poised to wreak havoc on Israel, for she had fallen far from God. She had not only adopted the practices of pagan nations and their false gods, but she'd even invented more ways of doing evil, where God says, it didn't even enter my mind that would do such things. Israel had been in rebellion for several centuries, and now judgment time had come. Does Israel have any hope? Would God come to be her rescuer and redeemer from her fallen condition? There's no evidence that God would turn from the judgment due Israel. All outward evidence indicated that God would complete his judgment on this land Enter the prophet Joel, listen to his words. Come spend the night in sackcloth, you who minister before my God. God invites Israel and her priests to spend the night with him in sackcloth and ashes. Perhaps God will hear Israel's repentance and confession and stay his hand of judgment. What evidence did they have that God might stay his hand? Well, they knew the story of Jonah. And they also knew Solomon's prayer when he dedicated the temple in 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. These were promises God made to his people in times of great national and personal calamity. But there's a sad ending to this story. Israel, though she had God's promises, never kept them. She never took time to turn from her evil ways. There was no time to fast and repent. No time to stop her evil ways and seek the Lord. So... Israel went in captivity in 70, 722 BC. It would not be until May 1948 that she would be brought back to the land by God's direct intervention. Even then, Israel has yet to turn back and put her trust in Yahweh. Oh, but one day she will in the not too distant future. God, help me not to be like Israel. God, help me to turn back to you. Let me set aside a time of prayer and fasting so I can seek you with all my heart. Turn me, O oh God, and I'll be turned. 